Hi, this is Joy Niao. I'm a film composer based in Los Angeles, and this is BMI Know Them Now video series. Which composer has single-handedly influenced your life? Well, I grew up watching Miyazaki films, and Joey Sashi's music just always transports me to a land of nostalgia. And I think that really inspired me to explore those complex emotions and go into the land of in-between. Tell us about your creative process. I love that initial meet and greet with the filmmakers and I get really, really excited when I get to hear about what are their inspirations, why they want to tell the story, who are these characters, and understanding that is really essential to me because it becomes the backbone of the sound palette, of the musical theme, and from once we have established a very clear direction, um, then themes and variation starts to form and the whole process is so collaborative and just is so much fun. Which of your works are you most proud of and why? I recently had the opportunity to score Skydance's first ever animation called Blush and it's on Apple TV. To be able to be involved in their first ever animation project is truly such an honor and I'm very grateful for their trust in me. And because of the nature of this film is such a personal one to our director Joe Mateo, I really wanted the music to honor his vision. And you know, with no dialogue, it also pushed me as a composer to try different things. Uh, for example, one of the core themes of this film was how our loved ones are like oxygen to us. And because of that conversation, it inspired me to include some breath-like elements or record some vocal effects to the score. And that's something I never tried before. So this whole process was just so collaborative and so inspiring. And I'm very, very grateful to have been involved. How do you know when your score is finished? I know when a score is finished, when I play back a scene and I'm not paying attention to the music. I'm fully absorbed of what's going on on screen. What is one word to describe your musical style? I would say emotional. What is your secret to avoiding composer's block? When that happens, I step away from my rig, maybe get some fresh air and reflect back on who these characters are, what is the story the director is trying to say and that helps me connect back to the filmmaker's vision and refocus from this music back to the story and that usually helps. What is the first piece of advice you would give someone starting in the music industry? I feel like I'm constantly growing and learning myself but I would definitely say be kind, be curious and be authentically yourself because I feel that a lot of the most meaningful collaborations always comes from a very open, vulnerable, and authentic place. And that's where true connection and creativity can spark. What is the best part about writing music? That I get to connect and collaborate with so many wonderful human beings. Every day I wake up feeling so grateful that this is my job and I get to do this for a living. And I'm constantly inspired by the vulnerability and the honesty of these incredible filmmakers.